Back to Venezuela. Uh, yes. Yeah, so what's going on there? So we talked about it a little bit in the first hour. Um, the United States is backing a unelected leader as the president, uh, Juan Guaido. Um, so this comes to us from Gray Zone. I do want to uh, actually watch this clip. Do, do we have a way that we can get that ready? I'm going to hand the headphones over there. I want to take a look at this. This is an activist from Code Pink. Um, got up on stage in at an event in D.C. that was featuring Carlos Vecchio, who's the illegitimate U.S. ambassador. So basically, he uh, he's the ambassador that was appointed under Juan Guaido, who's the unelected president of Venezuela, but who is backed by the United States. And he uh, was speaking at this event uh, in order to orchestrate this... Um, uh, yeah, I have headphones. Um, he's trying to orchestrate this... Um, uh, trying to give aid in a sort of facetious, not facetious, but an untruthful, uh, not genuine way in order to basically uh, end up with a military confrontation, which there have been some reports on the border with um, Colombia. There's been some issues. Um, but this is uh, under Leopold Lopez, who's the guy who's in prison in Venezuela, the guy who uh, is behind Juan Guaido, and this guy, Vecchio, uh, who is the illegitimate ambassador. So let's ha hear some of the words from this Code Pink uh, activist. This is, this, is, this is fire, guys. This is amazing. You guys ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Government, I want to say these people are fraud. They don't represent the Venezuelan people. They are representing the U.S. orchestrated coup. This is a very dangerous situation. They want to create a crisis at the border that would be a justification for U.S. intervention. This has nothing to do with a humanitarian situation. Indeed, for a humanitarian situation, the U.S. would lift the economic sa sanctions that have exacerbated the crisis. The issue at the border now is something that is politicizing humanitarian aid. That is why the Red Cross, the United Nations, and all the legitimate humanitarian groups have insisted that they will not touch this aid. What we need now is negotiations. These people here want to take Venezuela to a path of civil war and U.S. intervention. What the Venezuelan people need is negotiations mediated by Mexico, I'm almost finished, mediated by Mexico, by the Uruguayans, and by the Vatican. So let's say that if you indeed care about the people of Venezuela, you will be calling for negotiations. You will not recognize these people who are willing pawns in a Trump-orchestrated coup d'etat. Thank you for listening to the Voice of Reason. Gracias. Thank you. Watch this guy. This guy's great. Oh, thank you. No, thank you. I mean, you, you already expressed your ideas, and that's fine. You were able to express you know, your ideas. Okay. For doing that in Venezuela, I'm facing. <laughs> oh, man, that's beautiful. I love that. That's amazing. That's okay. She calls for government. mediated negotiations. I want to say these people Mexico, are fraud. Uruguay, they don't represent and the Vatican. Men. That's exactly what is necessary and exactly what's called for. She, it, she is speaking truth directly to power, directly to illegitimate political actors. That's what we need more of. Code Pink does great work. This is their MO. I don't know if you've seen much Code Pink stuff. They will go to hearings, uh, public hearings that they know are super important um, and where basically propaganda will be spread and the powerful will try to increase their power. And they either go and disrupt that event mm -hmm. by holding up signs and just yelling their point or if they can muscle their way on stage, as they did here, they will do it. And, right. you know, some credit to those particular politicians on the screen. They, they didn't bully her off stage and, and things like that. Politically speaking, they kind of did the right thing there. They just happened to otherwise be completely in the wrong and completely be in a power grab that is financed by the CIA. That's yeah. what they're doing. And, and the thing is, too, uh, you know, we, we have to really question our involvement in Venezuela. Look... I, I get that we have a corrupt system, and I know that you know there's the large influence of the fossil fuel lobby that want to control Venezuela's oil. But 
we wouldn't like it if somebody was trying to do this to us. The United States has a lot of resources, too. Would we like it if uh, we would have uh, some sort of dictator uh, pick one politician in the United States and say, well, I recognize this person as president of the United States, and this is how things are going to be? No one likes that. I mean, let's let's go back even to the first hour. We're just in a chat. You know, Daniel used me as an example of becoming Chicago mayor. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous to really say that, oh, well, this is how we beat the democratic system. No. What the United States is doing is something completely corrupt. What the United States government is doing, the Trump administration doing, is something completely corrupt, illegal, and wrong. We wouldn't like this, again, if someone did this to us. The people who can solve this problem in Venezuela are going to have to be the Venezuelans themselves. This is their election system. Otherwise, if we just turn a blind eye as citizens and allow uh, some sort of regime change to happen in Venezuela, well, it's another sad history of American involvement in Latin America uh, where we put in charge somebody that we like who's going to do our interests. And we saw, we, we've seen it end terribly to where there's nothing but civil wars or a destroyed economy and any kind of hope for a democratic future is going to take a long time to rebuild towards because of our involvement. So I, I get that there's a, a corrupt system in Venezuela, but the way we're doing it right now at the benefit of the fossil fuel lobby, at the military industrial complexes lobby, um, is wrong. And yeah, so, yeah, they've shown their hand a little bit, and this yeah. is coming from the Gray Zone Project. <clears throat> so uh, Vecchio Guaido and uh, uh, Leopoldo <clears throat> um, are basically Venezuela's right-wing coup operatives, and they've been working closely with the U.S. government to plan a stunt on the Colombian border on February 23rd, which is uh, tomorrow, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, so be prepared for that. Like this whole, we're trying to orchestrate aid and Maduro's not going to let that aid into the country. It's mostly, first of all, aid of things that aren't necessarily needed in the country. You can watch. There's plenty of video. There, there are markets that have food in Venezuela. People aren't starving in quite the way that the media is trying to portray it. Also, there is a lot of fear that there have been a lot of weapons smuggled in as part of that aid to these right-wing groups. And ultimately... The goal is to make an international incident out of attempting to deliver, without any coordination with the government, attempting to deliver this aid and then creating some altercation to justify further military or financial intervention into the country. So be on the lookout for that. That's what they're planning. They've been basically unashamed about they've been planning it in the open. It's like they they don't know that we can see, but that's what's about to happen. So be prepared for that. Hear me now. Quote me later. Yeah. Exactly. Hey everybody, if you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit that like button, hit subscribe, hit that bell notification so you can hear when new videos come out. We'd love to see you every time we go live.